Hello and welcome to my guide on how to unlock the Magar Orcs in Battle for Azeroth. So, first things first, there are two things you are going to need to do, which are the most time consuming. The first one is you are going to need to unlock the Ready for War achievement, and you do that by leveling up your reputation with the Honor Bound and completing the war campaign alongside the main storyline in BFA. The second thing you need to do is reach exalted reputation with the honor bound and you do this one by completing the main storyline and the war campaign and then you make up the rest with world quests people have grinded this out in a week maybe two i just took my time did my emissaries did the world quest that i fancied and i got to exalted within a few weeks once you've done that, you can then go to the Embassy in Ogrimmar. You need a level 110 Horde character to do this. And you go and speak to Sylvanas. And that will start the scenario and the quest chain you need to do to unlock the Orcs. The first thing that you're going to do is go to the Great Seal and Zuldazar. And you're going to speak to Telemance Oculith. Who will then send you on a quest to speak to Anachronos in the Caverns of Time. This is probably the most infuriating part of the scenario because you do have to start traveling all across the world to complete several quests and kill several people, um, which just takes time. And if your hearthstones are all on cooldowns, it can take a while. So the first boss type character you're going to kill is the Echo of Gul'dan. This fight can be tricky dependent on your eye level. It doesn't appear to scale. So the higher eye level you are, the easier you will find this. But essentially, you're just going to want to interrupt um, the majority of your spell casts as often as you can and move out of his beam and the green circles on the floor. And he should drop fairly easily. I was 355 eye level when I did this, and I didn't struggle. You're then going to go to across to Mists of Pandaria, and you're going to go to the Temple of the White Tiger, and you are going to face another enemy again this was quite simple and straightforward to do the only thing that you need to watch out for really are the dragons that fly around the room because these will start to fly straight across the middle of the room and these will one shot you regardless of your eye level i actually died once doing this because i wasn't expecting it and i thought that i would be able to manage it quite easily um, but it killed me straight off and there's a long corpse run from the bottom of the hill right back up to the the temple You can just see the ability there. I managed to down him just before they started once you've killed um, Zaylit you're then going to go into Ogrima and face Garrosh Hellscream for one final time Again, this is a very very simple and straightforward encounter There are two abilities which you'll need to watch out for the first one being Whirlwind. As soon as you see him start casting it, just run away from him and just keep running until he stops. It, again, it's a very simple ability which you need to avoid. As you can see there, I just heroic leaped out the way. The second ability are the War Machines. And what you'll do, similar to the encounter, the raid encounter, is two massive wheels will start to move across from opposite sides of the room. You just need to see where they're coming from. Move out of the way of the first and then move out of the way of the second. So once you've charged up the shard, you then go back to Oculus, who will then be able to send you back to Draenor, which has been a long time since I've been there, so it was good seeing uh, the land again. This actually was quite a good scenario. I liked it. You and I trig go and you get captured straight away by the Magar Orcs who takes you to their overlord, Gaara. Very, very simple quests. Essentially, the first view is you need to pay homage to the four Orc clans of Draenor. You just go around and you click the flags. And then once you've done that, Juritan will then send you on a mission uh, to help the overlord in killing ten um of these big orcs essentially you run into the cave you'll face Korgal very very simple encounter all three of you I trig the overlord and yourself just kill them kill the ten um, Korgals 
and then that will then take you to the final part of the scenario. Some abilities to just watch out for, a violent crash and boulder, typical DPS, don't stand in the fire or the ground that's got all the rocks and that being thrown at it, but again it is a really really easy encounter. Um, like I said, these don't seem to scale, so if you are a fresh 120 doing this with 290 eye level, you will probably struggle. Once you've killed that, you then need to go and face the Tyranny of the Light. This is a scenario that takes about 10 minutes. The first part of this is just to defend Beast Watch against the Lightbound. Just run around, just kill everything in your sight. You'll also see some siege engines that you need to take down. Again, I didn't struggle. My health very rarely dropped below 90% on this. Once you've uh, filled up the bar to 100%, you then have to go and take on Exarch Arellis. He is in one of the lightbound mounts. Again, first off, you just need to take this down. Really, really easy. He hits a bit harder, but again, no problems. He will then drop out from the mount, and all three of you can then start laying into him and get him down. Once you've done this, you then need to go back to Gromash Hellscream. Uh, Beast Watch, and what you will see is the Lightbound army then start to attack. You have to jump up into a cannon atop of the tower, and you have to fill up a bar to 100% again. The easiest way that I did was just to keep spamming by the gate to where Gromash is, and you'll get there quite quickly. If you try and do it bit by bit out in the in the field, you find it a lot trickier. Once you've done that. You will then um, go back to Ogrimmer and you will unlock the Magar Orcs. That is it. The longest part of it, like I said, is probably, and it definitely is, the unlocking of the Exalted Reputation. But again, just take your time with it if you're not in no major rush. And complete the war campaign, which you need to do anyway as part of the um, Battle for Azeroth Pathfinder Part 1. Once you've watched the roleplay, you will then be able to use the new mount that you will have unlocked and then go and create your new Megar Orc character. You can race change if you want, which is what I did with my warrior. However, you will not unlock the heritage armor unless you create a new character from level 20 and quest, go through dungeons and level him up all the way to 110. At which point you will unlock the transmog available for Megar Orcs and if you do race change any of your existing characters, you will then be able to transmog their outfits too. So there you go. That was the overview of how to unlock the Megar Orcs. If you like what you saw, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. And I'll be putting more videos out in the coming months for guides and Warcraft news and updates. Thank you very much for watching.